Hey guys, Technocrom406 here. This is it. The review I've been waiting to do. Alien Covenant. I just got back from the movie and I can tell you. Oh boy. Now, before we go on to this review, let me talk about my history with Alien. Obviously, I'm a huge fan of this franchise, but this is the movie that introduced me to Alien. When the trailer when the trailer arrived, I was like, wow, this looks really cool. And I actually went to see um, Alien, Aliens, and Prometheus, and I reviewed those three. Um, I was going to review Alien 3, but I got bored of that movie. I'll try to finish it and review it when I can. I'll, I want to complete my Alien reviews. I do want to complete them, even though Alien Covenant is out. And wow, I love this franchise, to be honest. And I'm waiting for the Predator movies. I'll probably review also the Predator movies when when Predator comes and yes I was really excited to see this movie now when the reviews came they were pretty mixed some people some people really liked it some people hated this movie and it's guts what can I say um it's not as good as I expected it to be but it's no way a shit movie it's a really enjoyable movie in my opinion um now let's go to, on the good stuff the good stuff is the cinematography every shot looks really good when you go to Ridley Scott movies you know the cinematography is gonna be good the acting even though I'll talk about the characters later it felt really good like when the alien appears the the actors like actually emote fear on their performances and they are really convincing in acting skills also Michael Fassbender he did a really good performance like in Prometheus I like his character he plays two characters he plays David and Walter two androids I'm not gonna spoil that much but it's really interesting and he reminds me of Logan because Lo Hugh Jackman portrays two characters X-24 and Logan and yeah it remind me of that and there's another scene on the movie which I refuse to spoil which kinda reminds me of that scene also, another thing I like is the special effects. There's a lot of CGI on the mo movie, especially the space scenes, but also it has some practical effects, to be honest. And I was like, wow, this actually looks pretty, really good. Also, one of the things I like is the Neomorph and the Xenomorph. Even though um, the Neomorph, eh, um, uh, a spoiler what I'm going to tell, but no, I'm not going to tell you. The Xenomorph, oh god, it's really good. But... We'll go to that later. And also, this movie answers a lot of questions from Prometheus, which I was kind of, kind of like, great. It's really great. Also, let's talk about the story. The story is kind of like the first alien combined with aliens with a little bit of Prometheus. It's about this alien creature that goes into this ship, starts killing people over, then we got our movie, which it's kind of interesting and. We're gonna talk about the negatives. Um, the negatives are that the first 30 minutes are kind of boring. Are, uh, who cares? They're gonna die. Also, another thing I didn't like is the characters. While I, again, really, bo really well acted, they're really convincing, they're not really rootable. They're not outright hateable. Or you're not like, oh, come on, alien, kill this kill these guys already. They're fine characters, but you're not really rooting for them. It's not like Ripley, or you're rooting for her. Daniels, Katerin, Katerin Watterson does her best, but her character wasn't that interesting in my opinion. Also, another thing I didn't, I didn't really like is that the Neomorph and the Xenomorphs don't appear that much. Spoiler, but that's not really a big spoiler, but they don't appear that much. I would like them to appear appear to be honest um also another thing i didn't like um we're kind of like it's trying to be the force awakens for alien it leaves a lot of questions that it's not answered and i'll probably answer on the sequel because we know it's gonna get a sequel ridley scott confirmed he's gonna make six ones so don't expect a lot of answers if you see this movie don't expect a lot of answers in the sequel alien awakening but yeah Let's go to Beredix. While it's not a 5 out of 5 stars as I was hoping for, Alien Covenant is a still, it's a really good movie. I, re I, re I really recommend you seeing it if you haven't checked it out, even though I'm really the last pe person who has given his opinion on Alien Covenant. 
I have two verdicts. As an Alien fan, I would give it a 4 to be honest, but as a movie critic that I am, I'm gonna give Alien Coven an A, 3.5 out of 5 stars. It's an enjoyable film, I recommend you seeing it, and it's not as good as Alien or Aliens, and I will even admit I like Prometheus a little bit better, but still, I left the theater satisfied for this movie, and I really hope I'm looking, I'm looking forward to what Ridley Scott has to see on the Aliens franchise, so yes, I'm really excited for what a Ridley Scott has. So that's my take on Alien Covenant. Now, let me know, what do you thought of Alien Covenant? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know down in the comments. I'm Technodrome406, just a regular guy in his regular room with a regular YouTube channel. Have a good day, Technodrome out.